myself professor pawar bk from department of geography jt art science and commerce college for women maligao on behalf of this video presentation i welcome you all dear students now in today's video we will see the landforms of river deposition now in river deposition the features associated in the lower scores of the river they are number 1 an oxbow lake or meanders due to the formation of series of shallows and dips which are also known as uh, riffles and pools meanders develop in the lower course of a river the loops or winding sections developed in the river course are known as meanders once these meanders develop the river starts eroding the outer bank as its water thrown against this bank on the other hand deposition of sediments is carried on the inner bank the erosion of the outer side of the meander and deposition along the inner side of the meander once started tends to increase gradually the meanders become more pronounced and the strip of land between the two adjacent loops becomes very narrow during a flood the river is unable to accommodate the large volume of water through which meandering course and it follows a straight shortcut course by completely avoiding the meander even after the flood recedes the river follows the new straight course and thus the meander is completely cut off from the main river course this abandoned loop forms a cut off lake which is also known as an oxbow lake or a mort lake it remains there as a shallow depression filled by marsh plants now the second feature that is the flood plains and levees flood plains and levees come into existence due to the depositional work of a river in its lower course in this course the river flows very gently through the plains and even though the river is not in flood it is a major depositing agent and the finer particles like silt and clay are deposited on the bed of the river due to which its bed rises above the surrounding land when the river is in flood the flood water spreads over a large low lying area it carries a large load with it and the water may remain still for many days or even weeks the load is deposited during this period when the flood water recedes very slowly without disturbing the deposited sediments this process continues during each flood time and thus vast depositional flood plains come into existence along both banks of the river during the flood the capacity of the river to carry load increases due to increased volume of water the finer particles are carried over longer distances but the larger fragments are deposited along the banks of the river as the flood water is unable to carry them further thus natural embankments come into existence along the banks of the river due to their deposition along the lower course of the river mississippi they are known as levees they are mainly made up of coarse material brought down by the river and thus are not very firm during the periods of severe flood they are easily breached by the flood water and this water encroaches over the neighboring areas destroying life and property a majority of the large rivers in the world 
have formed vast flood plains in their lower courses for example rivers like the ganga the brahmaputra the iravadi the yangatsikiang have formed vast flood plains with fertile alluvial soil and are able to support a great number of people because of the fertility of these soils people can practice agriculture in this particular fertile regions of the world levees are a common features along the lower course of the rivers like the mississippi and the havang ho now the next depositional feature of the rivers is deltas